prove algebraically that the straight line with the equation x minus 2y equals 10 is a tangent to the circle with equation x squared plus y squared equals 20. So in order to prove that a straight line is a tangent to a circle, essentially what we need to do is to prove that it only intersects a circle once. Now this is what a tangent looks like. So the reason we need to prove that there's only one point of intersection is to show that it only touches the circle once. However, this line at the bottom is not a tangent because it has two points of intersection with the circle. So what we'll need to do is substitute this straight line equation into the equation for the circle. However, the first thing we'll need to do is rearrange this equation. So if we add 2y to both sides of this equation, so if we add 2y to both sides of this equation, this gives us that x is equal to 2y plus 10. And now we can substitute in 2y plus 10 in place of the x in the circle equation. So this will give us that 2y plus 10 squared plus y squared is equal to 20. And now what we need to do is expand out this equation and then make it equal to 0. So if we expand out the 2y plus 10 squared in this equation, this gives us 4y squared plus 20y plus 20y plus 100 plus y squared is equal to 20. And if we collect all of the like terms, this gives us 5y squared plus 40y plus 100 equals 20. So as we can see, we've formed a quadratic equation here. However, in order to solve this, we'll need to make it equal to 0. So we can minus 20 from both sides of the equation. And this gives us that 5y squared plus 40y plus 80 is equal to 0. Now there's a few different ways that we can solve this equation, such as putting it into the quadratic formula or factorising the equation. However, in order to make it easier to factorise, we can divide both sides by 5. So 5y squared divided by 5 gives us y squared. 40y divided by 5 gives us 8y. And then 80 divided by 5 gives us 16. And then 0 divided by 5 is still 0. So now in order to factorise this equation, we want to find two numbers which will add together to give us 8 and multiply together to give us 16. So 4 plus 4 gives us 8 and then 4 multiplied by 4 gives us 16. So therefore we can factorise this quadratic into y plus 4 multiplied by y plus 4. Which we can again simplify down to y plus 4 squared. So in order to make this equation true, so to make this equation equal to 0, y would have to equal negative 4. And there are no other values which we could substitute into this equation for y, which would make this equation true. So therefore we've shown that there's only one intersection of the straight line and the circle. So now the final thing we need to do for this question is write a summary statement. So we can write something along the lines of, therefore, the straight line is a tangent to the circle because there is only one point of intersection. Now this question's worth five marks. We'll get our first mark for substituting the equation of the straight line into the equation of the circle. We'll get our second mark for expanding out the brackets. We'll get our third mark for making this equation equal to zero. We'll get our fourth mark for solving the quadratic. 
And we'll get our fifth mark for stating that the reason that the straight line is a tangent to the circle is because there is only one point of intersection along with the supporting evidence.